name's Colleen Miller. This is my mom, Janice, and my dad, George Miller. Um, we're at my family home in Thorndale, Ontario, where I grew up. The SSI treatment was a injection I gave myself to um, through the subcutaneous tissue, I guess, in the lower abdomen every other day for eight months, and um, it essentially cured my Crohn's disease after those eight months, or put me into remission, I guess, and to this day I'm still there. So, when was it? I guess July 2009, I um, started experiencing extreme pain, uh, basically while sitting, <laughs> and um, called my mom up. I was working at a local gym at the time in London and asked her to take me to the doctor. I went to my family doctor and she sent us immediately to the eMERGE in London, Ontario. Um, and within 48 hours, I had had um, a surgery for what they call perianal abscess. It was wrapped around my lower intestines and my rectum. And I did a lot of research as I was bedridden for weeks um, and found out that there's certain things that doctors immediately prescribe that I had no interest in. And one of them was called prednisone, which is a steroid drug. Um, and my understanding of it is that it suppresses all of your symptoms but doesn't re never really cures you. At the time, all, all of that fall of 2009, I was on Imuran and then um, something similar to prednisone, but that was while well, the abscess was still healing, and a couple other drugs, and I started on the Remicade as of 2010, January. January. Even though she was feeling better with the meds she was taking, it was a constant every eight weeks having to have this Remicade, and it's what was it, five or six hours? Uh, about seven, yeah. Yeah, you know, to take it. And it wasn't, though she was feeling better, it wasn't putting her into, you know, what we call remission. Before and after, before I started the SSI, honestly, it was just living, like, between between Remicade treatments. And it was eight every eight weeks, but sometimes, depending on what was going on in my life, like I said, I stress was my reactor, especially, and especially on exam times. If I was at four weeks and couldn't have another treatment for another four weeks, but having extreme symptoms, I was stuck. I had no, no out. And the doctors that I had here in London, I, they didn't give me any out. And I said to them, like, I know that these drugs, you can't have children, and I'm, you know, you growing up as a woman, you don't have any option. It, it was depressing a little bit at times. And now... I, I do whatever I want. <laughs> I, I don't have, I like, well, like, no holds bar in terms of medication. You don't have to take things at certain times of the day. You can kind of just live the way you should be living at 25. Live the way the population, yeah. general population lives. One of my sister's friends, he posted something on Facebook about this treatment, a link, and immediately we were extremely excited. I had been on Remicade every eight weeks for uh, just over a year. And at the time, and um, it was you know, just didn't really cure you. So we, when we heard about this, you know, potential cure, we got extremely excited. And within about three weeks, I think we yeah. had booked a trip and and decided that it was worth a shot if if this could be a potential, you know, cure or at least put me into a, a prolonged remission. So. And, and it really helped that our neighbor had gone through it, and we had yeah. a we quickly ran across the road and had an interview with him, and we came yeah. back pretty emotionally charged. <laughs> yeah. Charged. <laughs> One of the things we felt was helplessness because there really is nothing but drugs out there for Crohn's disease, and uh, so when when we got the opportunity to try something, we decided. George and I were all behind uh, Colleen, but ultimately it was her decision. We didn't yeah. try to force her to do anything, and she uh, she jumped on the bandwagon, and it was good timing for us, and, and, and it's been a positive experience yeah. ever since. I was on the treatment about four days when I realized that there were changes in my body, but I would always have this pain and hard spot, I used to call it, in my side post-eating even didn't, didn't matter. It was always there. And four days, I think, it, after I began the treatment, it was virtually gone. And I have not had it since. If I had to tell another parent 
to or what my feelings were about their child trying this um, this vaccine, I would say go for it. There is nothing to lose. It's not a drug. It's not going to harm you. Um, it's not invasive. And it's it, like a miracle. It's and for our family, it really was a miracle. Mm -hmm.